Hi children, welcome to Narayana Life Classes. Today in this assignment, let us complete the fill in the blanks. See the first blank, a diet that includes a variety of food containing the right amount of each nutrients is called. So if a diet it contains the right amount of all the nutrients, it is called a balanced diet. It is called a balanced diet. See the second blank. A diet should also include dash and dash. So already we know a diet should include the vitamins, uh, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Along with these, a diet should also include includes the water and roughages. A diet should also include the water and Roughage. Okay. See the third blank. Food items are divided into dash groups. Mostly the food items they are divided into the five groups. Okay. Mostly the food items they are divided into five groups. See the fourth blank. A diet for a person depends upon his. So it, the diet it depends upon the age. The diet it depends upon the age. Now see the fifth blank. If a person is not getting right amount of nutrients, then the condition he is suffering from it is called. Suppose if a person he is not getting the right amount of nutrition, then he is suffering with a, the malnutrition. That condition it is called as the malnutrition. Okay. Once again see this, a diet that includes a variety of food containing the right amount of each nutrients is called a balanced diet. A diet should also include dash and dash. It should also include the water and roughages. And third one, food items are mostly divided into the five groups. Next fourth one, a diet for a person depends upon his age. Now fifth one, if a person is not getting the right amount of nutrients, then the condition he is suffering from, it is called as the malnutrition. Next let us go with the sixth blank. See the sixth blank, malnutrition occurs in dash and dash forms. Suppose if we are taking less amount of nutri nutrients, he may be suffering with the undernutrition. Suppose if he is taking the excess nutrients, then the person he may suffer, he may suffer from the overnutrition. So the malnutrition occurs in undernutrition and overnutrition. Okay. Next seventh blank. A person suffers from dash when he does not get enough nutrients in food. Suppose if a person is not getting the enough nutrients, now itself I told, it is the under nutrition. Next eighth blank, underweight is a result of, if he is having the less weight, then he is suffering with the undernutrition. Okay, next see the ninth blank. Lack of nutrients may lead to the nutrients they have. If a person he has lack of nutrients, then he may lead to many diseases. Then he may suffer from the diseases. Next 10th blank, a person who eats food with excess of nutrients may suffer from dash. He may suffer from a person who eats food with excess. Excess food may lead to the overnutrition. Next is the 11th blank. Potato, 
chips, cool drinks and chocolates or and noodles is dash food which are harmful to health. So what are these uh, chalk potato chips, cool drinks, chocolates all these are they are the junk food. They are the junk food and that food is harmful to the health. Now see the 12th blank being overweight due to extra fat is a condition of dash. Overweight of a person it leads to the obesity. Let us revise it. The sixth blank malnutrition occurs in dash undernutrition and over nutrition. A person suffers from dash when he does not get enough nutrients in food. He may suffer from the undernutrition when he does not get the enough nutrients. Underweight is a result of dash. It is a result of undernutrition. Next ninth blank lack of nutrients may lead to the diseases. Next 10th one, a person who eats food with excess of nutrients may suffer from over nutrients. Next potato chips, cool drinks, chocolates, noodles, all these are the junk foods which are not good for the health. Next 12th blank, being overweight due to extra fat is a condition of obesity. Okay, thank you.